Well, today I'm going to be building the quail cage, hopefully. Uh, I have a plan in my head and uh, I guess a wood cut already, so you don't have to watch that. We're just going to start screwing it together and then we'll go from there. So this is the, the design that I came up with. Basically, it's going to be a six foot long by two foot deep cage. I hope that's enough room for them. I'm kind of going off the materials I have, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Two feet of it is going to be a sandbox nesting area so they can dust bathe and, and get off the wire if they feel like it. Uh, and then the rest of it is going to be a wire bottom. So sand over here, wire over here, and um, roof on top. Pretty basic. I think the sides and back are going to be solid. You'll see that. But first, I'm going to go ahead and screw this bottom together, get the wire on it, and then we'll work from there. So the first thing that I'm going to do actually before screwing this together is I marked out some spots where I want to put supports for the wire in because I'm not a big fan of that saggy wire bottom. And we came up with this idea of using some scraps of conduit for uh, the, the bottom supports because this won't hold as much droppings as wood would. Wood would. Um, so what I did was mark it out where I want it and I'm just going to be drilling three quarter inch holes right at the top of the wood, so this is going to be about flush with the top. So you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's basically going to be in the wood just like that, flush with the top. I watered my hands and then put them in the sand. Yeah. So I got these cut to length and put in. You can kind of see how it's going to work. Once these are screwed in, they're going to be locked in place. Um, this one, I didn't do a hole because I'm going to be having a support here for the doors. So I've just made it built into my support. It's just going to go like this. Just like that. So that's just to help the wire not sag so much. So I'm going to go ahead and start screwing these in. And then um, once the wire is in place, well, or once these are all screwed in, we'll put the wire in place.
We were just out here taking a break because it was raining out and um, we're working on the cage and this dog just walked in out of the rain. We don't even know who's, yeah. where he belongs to. Yeah, he's all wet. I thought it was that other pup that we didn't, Come on. that we didn't know about Aww. at first. Does yeah. he have a collar? I'm yeah. Really, I mean a yeah. tag. Oh no. A tag, I mean. You're getting me all wet. So look at this cute dog. We don't know where he's from. It's better than the pit bulls that you usually get walking through. <laughs> I know. Hi, little puppy. Aww. The eyes look very scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know oh, where he belongs to, him. but he saw our door open and decided to get out of the weather, I guess. Cage is coming along okay. Um, I was just building the doors. He's following you. And. Uh, you know the doors are almost done. We're gonna be putting those in tonight. I made this wall here. This is the door This is gonna be the uh, nesting box so to speak. It's just where they can get out to hide, you know uh, So I made the hole there for them to come in. We're gonna have sand in here and um, You know it's coming up good. I'm really happy with these. These came out a lot better than I thought probably gonna zip tie the cage around it just to hold it down, but That's really cool and so after I get the doors in, I'm gonna put the seat, the roof on. But for now, we're just gonna play with our new friend. So. Let's see what the collar says. I don't know, it's all covered up. Sit down, doggy, sit down. Is he following me? Hello, Maverick. 